school locker room. You guys are gonna flip. Yo, this is Boo Boo, head of no, security. No, no, What are we doing? It's all good, Boo Boo. I cleared it with DJ. Okay. And Hannah? Sure, her too. No, I don't believe you. Take them back. <laughs> Boo is a funny man. <laughs> I'm really not that funny. Let me, let me just talk to you for a second, Boo Boo. Cody. Don't move. What? Boo Boo. Please do me this favor, man. I go to school with these people. Please, please, Are you please, kidding please, please. I'm losing my job. <gasps> you? No. Yo, DJ. Yo, what up, little Jug? How you What's doing, up, man? What's up, man? What's good? What's good, boo boo? What's up, DJ? Yo, DJ, will you meet some of my friends real quick? Say no. Boo boo's right, man. Yeah. I don't have much time. I gotta get to shoot around, all right? Maybe after? Maybe after. Excuse me, big what man. What y'all talking about? Hey, Shammy. What's up, Jeff? Meet some people, please. Oh, for sure. You know I'm a man of the people. For sure. Y'all right? What is this? Come on. They're at the Luke target Walton. center. Yeah, they've been dominating Look right at the lately. Lakers. Well, they know they have their work cut out for them here tonight and during a stretch of games facing a lot of talented teams. And they need to play much better tonight than they did in the first game. This is the second of four games between them this season. So a team they'll face often, they want to keep it competitive. Well, you don't want to give an opponent the feeling that they've got your number. And if you start the season 0-2 against them, that's the exact feeling you're going to give them. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Caldwell Pope is the two with Ingram playing small forward. 16 out of Duke. What do you make of his rookie season? You know, very much a work in progress. You have to remember how young he is. Didn't turn 19 until three months before the draft. And he's still real thin. So he's got a chance to improve very quickly in the next few seasons as his body continues to mature. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. The dishes to Muhammad. And it's off from three-point range. And here are the Lakers. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. You know, the visiting team, it's a loud arena, very distracting at times, but simply no excuse for missing a ton of free throws. And did you notice how each missed by to have the NBA championship and then have a world NBA championship and then have the world play against the NBA championships and see what happens. I think that this game is so uh, convenient to have. You can grab a ball, five people, two people at any time that you never get too old. The jump shot doesn't get too old. To and so I just want the game to keep spreading and hopefully uh, we'll keep putting that good will of basketball out there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I love to see them do. That's a great idea. So it's the Timberwolves now. Good layout. Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Well, yeah, he's a guy who can carry you for stretches, long stretches in this game. You want to get him involved early and often. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. And Julius Randle, that seventh pick back in the 14th draft out of Kentucky, was a five-star recruit out of high school and, and was able to help get the Wildcats to the championship round. So this is a guy who is used to the spotlight. And Julius Randle with an intrigue. He gets ahead of steam, cool. and boy, he can be tough to contain. Now, here's Ball. After the miss from Carl Anthony Towns, Lopez a screen. Let's a floater go. Some solid defense from Butler. Timberwolves trail by six. Silk passes to Towns. Here's Silk. Trying to find Towns. Gets it to him. Gets it to from 18. Looking for his first basket still in this one. God. Now here's Ingram. On He's him. tightly guarded. On defense. Oh, and that one ah. had the right spin on it, and it is good. Five of five to start. I think he's in his own. So passes to Towns. Oh, the kick nice. outside to Butler. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. And so oh, yeah, he yeah, a trip one. to the line. Both Officials right saw the contact and he'll shoot two. That's to be the best. Ingram or Ball. Well, I definitely uh, like Ingram. I think his upside, his potential, his athletic ability, he's wiry. They played him a little at point last year. His rookie season wasn't dominant, but that doesn't mean anything. I really like his game. Uh, but but I, I really like Alonzo Ball. I think he brings that talent and leadership. Uh, I think he has the talent to become that franchise player. Forget what I think. Magic thinks that. 
towards the Timberwolves now. Following the miss, Alonzo Ball from deep. Muhammad, the pass to Sills. Before. Sometimes players try to do too much as a starter or let it affect how they play. Gibson, he just keeps on trucking and puts up good numbers. Ingram kicks to Lopez. Back to Ingram. Shoots over Muhammad. Almost, but it rolls out. For ah. Minnesota, they've gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Bother him, or if he just lost concentration on that one. But that's a layup he should. Ball, no good. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Silk. And they're unable to get the time oh, base there. Come From on. Los Angeles, they've gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Here's Ball. So the whistle blows on the shot. And two free throws for the contact right there. And, you know, so often we hear about a player coming out and, uh, as an elite athlete. But Lonzo Ball is an elite basketball brain. I mean, this guy sees everything on the court. A terrific passer, but more importantly, he's a guy that players like playing with. He, he really approaches the game like a 10 year vet. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Comes in for Muhammad. And it's Teague in for Muhammad. He is now three that, for good. four to begin this one. His shot is on target. LA's going on two or four from I'm beyond the arc to start the game. Clarkson kicks to Nance. Clarkson against T. And cut. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And with Lonzo Ball, you've heard all the comparisons to Jason Kidd is how he plays. Been saddled with and He's the ultimate team player and plays to win. There, there are questions about his game. Ah, but what God. I always say is Come the, on. Fact that the players he plays you call with me tend to play their time best block basketball, a shot. which I think is a reflection of his Great. game. This is as good as it gets. For a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here's Silk. Here's Towns. Late again. Into the night. Now here's Ennis. He's guarded closely. Off the screen. The shot, no good. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Away from home, you gotta execute. And then they did that flawlessly. Yeah, and they also controlled the pace of the game for most of the night. Outstanding effort in the hostile environment. Now here's Ennis after the miss from Crawford. Puts it up from 12 and stolen by Jang. Oh, and wow. they are shooting Was that the lights out no. from distance Again. here early. Towns the screen. The baseline Jang. The shot's good from Silk. <laughs> Silk's got 10 points. Oh, he has put forth an outstanding effort on offense this quarter. He will need to keep it up if they really want to cut into this lead. Man, opportunity. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Jamal Crawford picks one up. For Los Angeles, they've been on to... Wow. Came back a bit. L.A. has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Gibson is the 4 with Towns in the middle. Silk is out there with games. Jones. And it's Muhammad in at the 3 spot. So that's the Timberwolves. Five. David, thank you guys. Could you believe that performance? Wow. I mean, it was really something to see. Yeah, he Son of a physical fertile fertile is. When he is on his game. Oh, yeah. Once he got him on the ropes, he never let them off the hook. It was full speed energy no, basketball. What to do? And the dunk by Town. Assist. Let's go. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Ball, the pass to Ingram. And Gibson over to help. Muhammad with the steal. And now Minnesota on the fast break. And the oh! Oh, hey guys, that's a big dunk swing steal. right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out. Muhammad, the pass to Silk. It's Jones on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Silk, here's Towns. The Lakers with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Inside. 
And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. One second separate in the shot clock in game. It's tipped. Fucking idiot, Gibson. Pass to Zubac. Feeds it to Ball. There's the screen. For three, Caldwell Pope. And another three. Fuck off! Even when he is way beyond the arc, Caldwell Pope is a threat to drop it and to bomb it from there. It's just so sublime in how he measures it from distance. And so it's Los Angeles. Thank you, Kevin. Fast start with this game. Are you happy with how you've moved the ball around and gotten it to your teammates? Yeah, yeah, I am happy. I'm, I'm pleased with how I've been able to get everyone involved. You know, as a leader of this team, it's my job to give back to the other guys every so often, you know, you know, mix it up. So, you know, I've gone out of my way to give them some shots. You know, it's tough, it's hard, because I know in the back of my mind, it's just like, look, I can do this, I can do this shot. But, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of charity, so it, uh, it works out for me. Kevin? Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following him. Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance Which points really big call call this almost year like bonus points Moss. when you can get them. Los Angeles leading by six. Ball dishes to Randall. And there's the feed to Ball. Well, Chris, the NBA game is a game of superstition. And even if you aren't superstitious, you still get into the habit of a routine. So what was your pregame routine uh, that you had during your career? Something that was there every night with you. Oh, Gibson, you well, idiot. Why are you in there? I have one superstition, and it might oh sound weird, God. but it was that to not no, have a superstition. Heart, sorry. So I'm a guy that can get caught up in superstition. But in saying that, you do have a routine. And my routine as I got older was before I get to the arena, I'd read the notes of the game and, and all that good stuff, and I'd just sit in the hot tub with my headphones on. I figured that that was the best way to get warm at an older age, and that's really the stupid only idiot. You're stupid. Oh my uh, god. Game, and that was, uh, oh, why did I pass that? Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Now, ball. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Lopez passes the ball. Good. Oh, fuck! Oh, don't you! You're kidding me! Some changes for the Lakers. Bogut comes in for Brooke Lopez. And it's dang oh in for Brandon God. Ingram. Brooke Lopez coming over to the Lakers. 43 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Lock at six. Nice job coming off that screen. Clarkson's got six here in this quarter. Never backing down. Clarkson, unafraid to shoot with a hand in his face. Here's Gibson. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. They set the screen. Lopez kicks to Clarkson. Uh. Drills the three-pointer. Clarkson's got nine points here in the second half. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Offensive rebound. Gibson dishes to Towns. Off with the layup. An active defense making things very hard on him as he goes in for the layup. And so it's Los Angeles bringing the quarter to a close now. with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. Keep the ball moving. Quick decisions. Get the ball. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Yeah, get going. Lakers leading by seven. 
All right, now a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. Gibson is the four with Towns in the middle. Silk is out there with Teague, and it's Muhammad in at the small four. And that one, good. Oh, great presence inside the painted area. This is where Randall is most effective. Outside, Gibson. Passes to Silk. And Muhammad has it in the corner. It's tipped. What's he That's took it? advantage oh. for them in the rebound department. There's a screen. He kicks it to Ingram. Lopez a screen. Can he keep it going? Keeps it alive. It's good on the putback. Lopez has got five points in the quarter. Exceptional instincts on the offensive boards. And didn't try to slam it home. Tipping it in was all he needed. Left side, Butler. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Fuck you, Pope. Thank you. Overrated. He feeds it to Ball. Overrated in this game. Kicks it to Ingram. Lopez, a screen on Muhammad. Here's Ingram. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Ingram's got 14 points here in the second half. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Muhammad on the wing. And the three ball is good. Well, that's a shot they'll be happy with on every ah. trip, no matter who's taking it. Lakers leading by 11. Ball kicks to Randall. Feeds it to Lopez. Lopez missing again. I like the shot selection on that one, despite the miss. Stops, pops. Butler, no good. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a pretty unorthodox slingshot shooting form for Lonzo Ball. He, Greg brings it up on the left side of his face. Yeah, but he still got great balance, and the lower body mechanics are perfect. Good wrist action on the follow through. Sometimes we get caught up so much in the motion to get to the shot. It's about the release point. And when you get there with this guy and the confidence with which he plays, I think it's a non issue. Lopez a screen. Now here's Ball. D right on him. Just five on the clock. And it's Ingram missing. Timberwolves trail by 13. And Ball comes to help. To the inside, Towns. Wow. And the layup's good off the glass. Towns has got 18 points now here in the second half. Right, he's making he's it look 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 the effort to stop there. Here. I mean, the D doesn't seem to be hindering him at all, and he's taking advantage of him. And Gibson over to help. And there's Lopez. That's oh, good. Oh, and this from Randall. And the Lakers lead by 13. Oh, that's a nice look. Recognizing he had the opening to make the entry pass. And the Timberwolves call time here. And Julius Randle, like a lot of these Lakers, still has room to develop defensively. Yeah. Chris, what's the key for him at that end? Well, he's got, already got a great nose for defensive rebound. He's got to improve as a help defender a little bit, but he needs to use his mobility to cover that ground a little bit quicker and cut off the lane. Fuck's sake, a third, 14 turns. Minnesota's gone past the three-point line Thanks, for 13 game. of their shots. They're 6 of 13. A shot's good from Silk. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, look, when you're giving up that type of height, you use your quickness. It's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Ball with it. Now the feed to Caldwell Pope. Lopez, a screen on Buck. Caldwell Pope kicks to ball. Lopez, a screen. Off the pick. Ball, no good. Timberwolves trail by 11. Outside Butler. Good on the shot, and that shades the lead to single digits. Nice one, on the left. Butler, just impressive. Solid at finding ways to get inside and finish at the rim. Lopez a screen. They set the pick. Passes it to Ball. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. He drops the first one, and that'll push the lead to double digits. 
And so he hits both. Not a bad game. It's 143 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Silk. Lopez with the block. Now here's Ball. And Silk gets the whistle that wow. time. And, that's it. and so the Lakers take the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was. Yeah, this game was bullshit, really. That was a good game, a great game, a great game. Hey, yo, this ain't Clark Ball, DJ. What does that even mean? DJ, I sent you clips from tonight. Take a look at that follow through. Details, mechanics, we'll talk about it in the morning. Two years ago, I went two for 18 from the field. You think I stopped shooting? Nah, son. Dropped 36 the next night. And let this one slide. Even the great Shammy Watkins has an off night. Yeah, but not often, though. Hey, shooter, shoot. What is he even talking about? Just not. I'm going to see you in the next video, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next video.